Number 1 Wakayama Castle The main reason to visit Wakayama City is Wakayama Castle, which towers high above. It's only a 20 to 30 minute walk from the main train station and hard to miss. Walk the grounds of the castle, including the garden and then make your way up. The views are spectacular. Number 2 Mamajidani Tayan Garden when you are walking up to Wakayama Castle you might already walk by Mamajidani Tayan Garden. If not, find it below the North Tower. It's a well-kept traditional Japanese-style garden enclosed by a white wall. Follow the wooden signs around Wakayama Castle if you can't find it. Number 3 Tamagashima Lighthouse The four little islands of Tamagashima just off of, but still part of, Wakayama City make for a refreshing afternoon out. Tamagashima Lighthouse dates back to the late 19th century and was designed by the father of lighthouses, Richard Henry Brunton. The idea was to make the shoreline safer for foreign ships. Number 4 Wakayama Park Next to Mamajidani Tayan and below Wakayama Castle you can access Wakayama Park for free. It is a great place to take photos of the castles and you can cross the historical Ohashi Roka Bridge. It is 27 meters long and entirely covered. Number 5 Marina City Even though Marina City belongs to the old city of Wakayama, it looks entirely different with its pseudo-European vibe. It was built on an artificial island and has become a major tourist magnet as there is a small theme park to be enjoyed as well. It's called Porto Europa. Number 6 Wakanura Onsen Are you an onsen fan? Onsen are Japanese hot thermal springs and are super popular for their relaxing and healing qualities. The Wakanura Onsen Manpa Resort has both outdoor and indoor onsen. You can even rent them privately. The resort has its own bus stop so you can easily reach it from Wakayama Station. Number 7 Bandoko Tayan Garden Another nice little park, this time by the seaside in Wakayama City. It sits on top of a cliff and used to be fortress. This was because of its proximity to Wakayama Castle and could help with defense along the shoreline. Number 8 Wakayama City Museum The Wakayama City Museum opened in 1985 to celebrate the city's 400th anniversary and as such chronicles local history. On show are artifacts excavated as well as original documents. Number 9 Fusion Museum here, you can learn more about the skill and trade of knitting and how it is connected to sportswear. Plus, you get to knit your own scarf on a bicycle-powered machine. Number 10 Kifudoki no Oka. The actual site is much larger than this museum as it is next to over 430 ancient tombs belonging to the Awei Senzuka burial site. Not surprisingly then, at the museum you can learn more about ancient burial customs and what life way back in the day was like in Japan. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.